So today, MUSQ is live. We went public on July 7th. We rang the bell on July 13th. Uh, it is the, a first-to-market ETF uh, giving investors a front-row seat to this booming industry. Um, to talk a little bit about uh, the fund. So the way the ETF is set up, this is a passively managed fund. Um, the eligibility requirements are such that all music companies have to generate more than 50% of their revenues from music, or they have to be a top five player in streaming, content, live music and ticketing, equipment and technology, and satellite and radio. No company can have a smaller market cap than $100 million, and no single company can be greater than uh, no company – uh, that's smaller. So no company can be smaller than a hundred million dollars. It also has to have average daily trading liquidity uh, dollars a day. So this creates a very nice cross section of uh, small cap, mid cap, and large cap companies. Um, about forty five percent of the companies are domestic companies, and about fifty five percent of the companies are um, international companies. And I'm, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share my screen. And maybe pull up here is how so these are the top top music markets today. Uh, so obviously, the United States is driving uh, about 45 percent of the revenue. Number two, in terms of size, is actually South Korea. So we have uh, we have companies. We have, I think, 14 companies from South Korea in our fund. Third biggest market, I think, is Japan. Uh, and then China, and then followed by Western Europe. And we've got companies in Australia and in Brazil. Um, this is uh, just kind of the breath on the recorded uh, business.